Welcome to this session. Today we're going to be talking about colors and throughout this week you know that um, here at Adobe Nordic we are inspiring you with various uh, sessions about colors and the workflows surrounding Creative Cloud and the various utility apps. Um, today we're filming uh, this session straight from a Stockholm-based agency called Perfect Noise. They're an uh, agency specializing in brand experiences and event marketing and um, they're all about the interaction between brand and consumer, both physically and digitally. Today I'm sitting here with my uh, specialist design friend Tommy uh, Lutvenen and Tommy what are we going to be beginning with? What are we going to start with uh, uh, this session? We're going to start at the beginning so the way that we handle color in the Adobe applications today uh, has its roots and the roots are in the year 2007 when we had in Illustrator the feature called Live Color that was connected to an online service called Cooler. And actually it's pronounced like French. Couleur. Couleur. <laughs> and uh, K-U-L-E-R. Yeah. And, uh, and now it's called Adobe Color, so it's more conservative. Yeah. But uh, the functionalities have gone way be over the original. And we're going to start with Illustrator. And in Illustrator, I have the color panel, I have the color guide, and of course, the color swatches. And uh, what I was used to be able to do in Illustrator was recolor artwork. We also call this feature uh, live color. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna activate some objects, like so, and then I'm gonna go into recolor artwork. So this now lists colors from all the selected objects. And uh, I can, for instance, do a random color change and uh, random saturation brightness change. What I can also do is I can go to the edit mode, which means that I have now the color wheel. I can grab color, any color from the, uh, from the list and adjust it by hand. Also what I can do, I can lock them together. So now the proportions between the colors remain the same. And I can very fast do a new version of that color palette that has those objects in. Mm -hmm. So those of you who are graphic designers can always uh, use what you've learned and you know the 23 basic uh, disciplines of color theory. I don't, so I cheat. Me neither. <laughs> and uh, I go over to Illustrator, and they are all here. Awesome. But what I can do now, so I adjusted these colors, I can now make a new color group. And let's name it. So, good name, 007. Stockholm. Yeah. <laughs> so, Here's the new color theme, and I can always export this uh, color theme um, to Bridge as an ASE, Adobe Swatch Ex Exchange format. Yep. And then I can use it in InDesign, and I can also use it in uh, Photoshop. Cool. Okay, good enough. That was 2007. Yeah. So things have evolved since then. So the color website is still there. So I can go to the color website and I can go to create mode and I can make color harmonies. I can use um, color rules. So let's do a compound color. And I can adjust my graphics just as I would use them in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. And I can save this theme just like this, save it and I'm gonna give it the old name, Cooler Demo, mm -hmm. Stockholm. And now that I'm signed into the service, this is also available in my cloud. 
So that means that it will be synchronized with all my applications. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to Illustrator and look at some new features. So let's say the inspiration strikes me on the road and uh, I need to grab colors from someplace. Mm -hmm. So we have Adobe Color application on the smartphone and on the tablet. Yep. And um, of course, you more often have your phone with you than your tablet, and a phone is something that's very often in your hand. So when you see something nice that has nice colors, you can grab them instantly with your phone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a new color theme from the camera. So I'm gonna point it to you one, freeze it by tapping, and then I can edit by dragging the little orbs here, click OK, and now I'll name my theme. Okay. What happens now is that my phone, my Adobe Color application is of course created, is of course connected to my Creative Cloud. So this color theme will be pushed into the cloud and if when my applications are open, they will be able to access that color theme. Mm -hmm. So let's switch back to Illustrator and this time I'm gonna go to my color themes. Yeah. So let's go to window and color themes. So in this panel, I can see my uh, color themes and there are some themes that I've grabbed earlier mm -hmm. and these are ready to use. Mm -hmm. So in a moment, they will be synced up and where they will be synced are my libraries. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna grab the third panel just to show it more clearly. Mm -hmm. So there it is. My latest color grab is right there. Great. The color harmony I just grabbed is now synchronized. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Maybe I don't like that too much, so maybe I'll use the, uh, use the one I grabbed in uh, Hungary. It's called Hotel Zabagzag. So what I can now do is uh, I can go to my color themes and I can add these themes to my swatches. So now the Hotel Zabagzag is in my swatches and I can also go to, okay, too many panels open. I can also now go to my recolor artwork feature and I can mm. see it over yeah, here I can see that and not. just one click and the colors will change I can do exactly the same thing I can do fine adjustment by going to the edit mode and yeah that's that's how it works this is great but I mean let's just stay, stay, take a step back here I mean you just started with your mobile device and you picked up the color from my shirt you brought it over uh, through your Creative Cloud, you brought it over to your color, uh, color swatch here, and you could, you had the, you know, the, the opportunity to work with it, but you chose something else. But the beauty is that this is really an end-to-end -end workflow. You know, people are talking about mobile first and uh, being able to be picking up colors and, uh, and stuff on the go. This is an amazing, amazing feature. I really like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, and it's really fun, and, uh, and the smartphones are, are a fantastic tool. With a lot of the smartphones, um, uh, it's, I have an iPhone 5, so the shooting light is uh, neutral white, so it actually does a pretty good job of grabbing colors at a close distance. Yeah. You know, uh, this is actually the tool that ended that um, dress. Yes, yes it is. If you remember the dress scandal, that rocked the whole world. Yeah. And we were all in shock for weeks and weeks. Yeah. With Adobe Color, we were, we were able to settle that argument. Uh, great. Well, let's move on. Okay. So, Photoshop, same thing. This is something that I used to do a lot in my uh, previous life before Adobe. So, I worked in advertising and we would change colors because the customer wanted us to. So, sometimes it would happen that the uh, we would show a picture of something and the customer said, yeah, I like it, but the color is wrong. Um, okay, so which color do you want? And the customer would say, um, and then they would look out the window and yeah, I want that color uh, across the street over there. Mm. And we were like, 
hmm, <laughs> I wish we had had these yeah. because it would have been so easy. Yeah. But anyway, so fast forward to, to actually doing it. So yeah. what I've done here is, is that I've made an adjustment Mm -hmm. And the adjustment uh, has um, a layer mask, so I've used the color range tool yeah. to uh, select the dress. And uh, then I've used a tint, a tint I picked up from the Hotel Zabadzag mm -hmm. um, color theme. I just love that fact that you you pick, pick that colored theme from the hotel that I can't pronounce yet. Yeah. <laughs> but um, one more thing I want to show you is uh, actually one of my favorites. It's Adobe Illustrator Draw, our vector-based drawing application on the iPad. The thing, the great thing about the color themes and the Creative Cloud applications on the desktop and on the iPad is that they are all synced together. So my color themes will be available here and I'm going to show you one more cool thing with this. So um, I'm going to pick a uh, vector brush and then I'm going to select the color. And my color themes are here. They are present. So I'm going to go to my color themes and I can pick now of all the color themes that, that I've made uh, over the last month. So I need these cool shades of gray. I'm going to pick that theme and then I can select these uh, bluish grays and do this uh, shading. Whatever I do in the cloud is always synchronized. I never have to lose another idea. I never have to lose another color. And the pen I'm using is actually Adobe Ink. So this is Adobe made hardware and um, the tablet itself, as a vector uh, tool, is pretty crude, so it doesn't have a lot of pressure sensitivity, and your finger is a bit clumsy. So what we've done is we devised a Bluetooth pen that gives that extra uh, nuance to your art. Okay, so one more really cool thing is, remember this is vector, so when I want to export this, no, I don't even have to export it. I can just share it. So I can push it over to my Illustrator or Photoshop. So I'm going to send it to Illustrator. And pretty soon it will appear on my laptop. There, there it is. Go. Yeah. And there it is. And it's all vector. Awesome. Impressive. Yeah. Like I said, one of my favorites. I spend a lot of time on it these days. It's very cool. I really like it. Just the fact that you have an end-to-end -end situation. You know, you're out there and about, you sit on a train or at the cafe or whatever, you know. Or an airplane. Or an airplane or whatever, and, and writing and drawing and stuff. And then all of a sudden, because it's synchronized over uh, your, the, the web through your creative cloud, you can go back to your office and you can con continue whatever you were drawing actually on a mobile device. It's just amazing. I'm, I'm very impressed with that technology. And the fact that we had the demo guide with us today and you can see it actually physically happening actually through uh, Tommy's machine. Um, anything else, Tommy? No, that's about it with, uh, with color and the, uh, and the uh, desktop applications. Great, so that summarizes what we wanted to show you. I hope you found this very inspiring, as I found it inspiring. And uh, throughout this week, we're gonna do, as I mentioned at the outset, all these uh, inspirational master classes that we call them, and um, check them out. And um, thanks for watching this session, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See ya, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.